Well, hello there. Um, it's officially Halloween season, even though we are still in August. I generally don't even start thinking about Halloween in past years until October 1st, because that gives me 31 days to do Halloween. However, it seems like Halloween is starting early and earlier. And let's be honest, with all that's happening in 2020, we need the festivities earlier on this year. Um, Shop Disney has updated their website to include a lot of the merchandise and I'm super excited for them. Um, I'm gonna, I've actually went through and picked up my top 10 items. I've put it in my wish, my wish list and I thought it would be fun for us to kind of go through what my wish items are um, from this website and then we can just kind of take a look and see how much it is in total just just for fun I'm not actually ordering anything today um, Because I live in Canada and if I order anything from shop Disney the cross-border fee that gets applied is actually quite high So my first item has to do with Haunted Mansion my favorite ride at Magic Kingdom And these are a set of hitchhiking ghost sock set for adults and I love them because they're mismatched and anyone who knows me well knows that I never wear socks that match um, partially due to laziness on my part I, after doing the laundry I'm too lazy to actually match up the socks and another is because I just think it's fun like why who made up the rule to say that your socks need to match like if I want to wear a red sock on one leg and a blue sock on the other leg like who, why can't I do that right so if you're with me on the mismatch sock club comment down below and let me know so I know that I'm not the only person who's kind of in love with mismatched socks so this one retails for $14.99 um, which is actually quite expensive just for one pair of socks right um, but these are cute oh actually sorry my bad it's actually two pairs of socks so each of these come in a pair so uh, I guess Disney is not jumping on my bandwagon of Mitch Matt socks, but if I were them, if I were you, and if you do pick up these pair of socks, I would wear them one each separately. Don't wear them as a pair. Being a pair is boring. <laughs> my next item is, of course, the spirit jersey because everyone loves a spirit jersey. This one is actually made for kids. I don't know if there's an adult version for it, but it's super cute. It is orange background and it's got like repeated Mickey heads ghosts um, the mickey pumpkin patch set um, and it's just um, it just says it, it's just cute and in the back it says little boo because it's for children and here's the logo right in the middle or sorry in in in, in the main area of of the of the uh, jersey so i think in order for me to add it to a bag i need to pick a size so i'm just going to pick a random size and say add to bag moving on is a lounge five backpack guys how cool is this this is just this makes me smile so much and i wish i live in the u.s so badly because i wouldn't want this bag i mean that being said it is pretty pricey at 90 dollars this is the Haunted Mansion Ghost Host Mini Backpack by Loungefly. If you've all been to Disney World or Disneyland, you'll know that um, this is the costume of the people who, who work at the, the cast members who work at the Haunted Mansion. Um, and it's it's got like the pretty blue apron um, and there's a little white thing at the top. So I guess it's a, a piece of cloth. Oh no, I think it's their headpiece. Um, it's like a headband with the, with the bat at the top. And you can see like the, the skirt here is just super cute. This is the Haunted Mansion maid costume in a backpack form. So they call it the maid, maid to order. <laughs> our, com our comely mini backpack from the Haunted Mansion is made to order for mor mortal use. A ruffled apron and bat topped hat trim. Oh, it is a hat trim. Trim the stylist servant that will carry all from cradle to grave. She's the hostess who's the ghostess. <laughs> I love this description and it also has a, um, a name tab, ghost host. Love this bag so much. And then the next one, I also love this because it's also features Haunted Mansion. This is the Haunted Mansion Grave Digger Mug and Spoon Set. I love it because it includes a little spoon in the shape of a shovel um, and i i love disney mugs i think they're they're cute and they're functional because you know who doesn't use a mug right um, and it says here not a morning person um, earn your rest 
love this and it's interesting it actually says here it's limited to 10 per guest so i wonder if people are actually buying them in bulk and then like maybe reselling them on ebay or something i don't i don't know next one is jack skellington and sally and it's a couture de force figurine by inesco and it retails for $99.95, which is quite expensive, which means that this is not a toy for children. This is definitely like a collector item. And I love how Sally's wearing this beautiful, like her dress has been transformed to a lovely mermaid dress. It's almost like a, like a, a wedding style dress. Um, and Jack Skeleton is there holding her, they're dancing. And also if you look at the back, I love that Jack's, Jack's cape it looks very flowy. And I just love the, the couture lines. That they're able to recreate here. Let's add this to our bag. And the next one, now this is a children's set now. This is the Coco Deluxe Figure Play Set. Um, it, feature, it features two, two Coco Miguel, two Miguel, one when he's in disguise while he was in the land of the dead, and then one with him normal. Um, and there's Dante and all the other amazing characters from the movie um, it's actually one of my favorite pixar movies i think it's probably it's a toss between this one and the original toy story as to which is my favorite pixar film um, i think onward is up there it's also a pretty good movie the next one we have is a mickey and minnie mouse halloween doormat i just love this it's so pretty um, i can see like it's like a nice doormat to welcome your guests into your house um, and it just kind of screams like, hey, a Disney fan lives here. <laughs> and it's for $34.99, so let's add this on to our bag. We're almost there now, so our third last item is a Minnie Mouse Halloween kitchen towel set. I love this one because this features um, Minnie Mouse as a witch, and it says Minnie's Sweet Spells and Bewitching Bites. And um, it's a set of two towels, um, so you have like two, I think one is more for decoration and one is actually more of like a, a, a dish towel drying one. Um, they're generally made from different materials. Um, so the dish towel has a waffle weave, as you can see that there, and, um, and an embroidered mini witch applique. <laughs> Okay, and then I guess this is the dish towel because it says dish towel with all over print of Halloween treats. So that's a dish towel. I love this. I actually use a dishwasher, so I don't actually do dishes by hand. <laughs> so I guess I don't really have a use of a dish towel, but anyways. And of course, we must have a Minnie Mouse ear. I have a little collection growing. I don't have too many right now. I have maybe about half a dozen mini ears and I wear them every time I go to the parks. This one I love because it has like a little candy corn at the top um, and it's got like a orange and purple color to it. Your typical ear headband, your $29.99. I feel like they've gone out in price over the years. I believe my first set of mini ears were only $19.99. It's quite some years ago. Um, and then just every year when I go back to the park, it, it's it's a few more dollars. It's a few more dollars. And I want to say last time it was $27. And I guess now it's $30. They're actually getting quite expensive now, but they're super popular. And it's the one thing that I must always buy every time I visit the parks. And this one is spooky, spooky themed. So it's definitely going into my bag. And my final item, <laughs> another quintessential parks merch is your magic band this one is mickey mouse halloween magic band 2 limited release retails for 29.99 and it's a orange band with a mickey in the middle kind of dress up like a i don't know or like like a like a not a witch but like a wizard or almost reminds me a little bit of a dracula feel to it um a vampire feel and he's smiling because of course it's Mickey and it is super cute. And on the other side, it says happy Halloween. Oh, wouldn't it be nice to wear this during the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party? And the description says, have a happy Halloween at Walt Disney World Resort in this limited release Magic Band 2 design featuring Mickey Mouse in Witch Doctor costume. With a simple touch, redeem Fast Pass Plus, enter parks, change purses to your room, and, and more. I guess the description is a little outdated because if I understand correctly, there are actually no Fast Passes right now just because of the limited opening and the limited capacity at the parks. 
Um, but hopefully things will go back to normal soon and I look forward to kind of visiting Disney World again. Um, maybe not this year, but next year for sure. So, you guys want to guess how much it is in total in my bag? I don't know. I think the figurine is... Oh, I'm going to not look at the total. The figurine is $100 at least. So I'm going to guess maybe $300. Let's take a look. Um, I'm, I'm off. It's If I were to buy all 10 items, it actually comes to $450 US. That's a lot of money. Um, but, you know, I'm glad I'm sharing this video with you because I feel like I have just as much fun shopping online, um, fake shopping online, <laughs> as I did with the real purchase. Um, I think realistically, if I were to actually pick something up, um, I would have bought the mug set, I would have picked up the tea towels, the mini ears, and also the magic band. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are. Would you like me to kind of go through some other Halloween merchandise? Maybe not from Disney, but you know, just from other shops as well. Do some, some more virtual shopping with me to kind of scratch my itch to, uh, for, uh, for, for buying stuff. <laughs> I will see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.